A man it's not going well for is Michael Verney, for his county manager, um, Michael Fenley, because awfully, I think it's pretty much unthinkable to lose the Christie Ring Cup semi-final. They lost on penalties to down, have been 2 nil up even in the penalty shootout. But awfully were supposed to coast this and get back up to the Joe McDonough. I mean, it was only the last day of even getting relegated last year by Kerry. To not win this, like, how do you explain this? Uh, you don't really. I was kind of thinking in my head, you know that song, Down, Down, Deeper and Down. That's mm. like that's like our fortunes at the moment. It's like people think, you know, people thought like various results over the last couple of years. Westmead hammering them in the Leinster Championship. Uh, Galway putting, you know, crazy amount of points on them in O'More Park and then getting relegated last year. People think they're all, oh, you've, you've hit rock bottom. Like to me... This is this is as close as you're going to get to rock bottom. We could get closer. Hopefully, we won't. But like to not be getting to the final of a third tier championship, having played Leinster championship two years ago, is disastrous. There's no point in saying any different. And the the, the most worrying part of it all is is that at no stage in the game did it look like we were really going to pull away. And there was a couple of contentious things. Owen Cattle uh, hit a penalty and. From his point of view and from a lot of people's point of view and from video evidence point of view, it does look like it hit the back stanchion. This is a penalty in normal time. And it was it was it was ruled um it was ruled that it hadn't anyway. But that that looked fairly contentious. Now that's not sour grapes or anything like that, because from a down point of view, down were brilliant. Offaly had this uh Offaly were playing a possession uh, possession style game that a lot of top teams wouldn't even try to play. So we're playing, you know, strike, hand pass. You know, break a tackle, hand pass, off the shoulder, loads of this kind of thing. Sounds and it just, like Limerick. It wasn't working. Sounds like yeah. Limerick style of play. Yeah, yeah. And what, what's the main difference between Limerick and Offaly? A massive, massive class difference. A massive, massive difference in physical conditioning as well. Like, I just don't think... I, I know they're trying to do it for the right reason, but I just don't think that's going to be that... Do, if we had the players to play that style really, really effectively, would we be in the Christie ring? I don't think we would be. Do you know, so that kind of broke down time and time again, and you know, down we're able to get turnovers, and we're kind of buoyed by every time they turn it over. And um, we didn't look like winning the game. We probably didn't deserve to win it in normal time. We were lucky to get a draw in in extra time, and then the penalties having been two nil up in the penalties, um, we 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 spurned that, and you know, the down goal the down goalkeeper Stephen Keith having saved three penalties, he scored the winning penalty, and it was just ah. Uh, just a, a disastrous situation really all around and from from our point of view there's no point saying any different like we're in the third tier championship we have you know a Kilkenny legend as manager you know Johnny Kelly as coach Michael Cavanagh as coach as well a big high profile ticket and there's not, we didn't get anything out of 2020 we didn't get to a league we didn't get to a 2A league final we didn't get to a Christian Ring final if you got to the final the two teams were up so we didn't get anything out of 2020. There was literally no saving grace from 2020 at all. So do you, do you look at it the flip side and say, this is Michael Fennelly's first season. He's learning on the job. Interrupted season because of COVID. Um, a team that has been on the slide for a number of years and went through management teams like Hot Dinners there for a couple of years. That had the... When other counties were able to prepare for a few weeks, there was the three-week shutdown because of COVID in Offaly, Leash and Kildare. Do you say, or we didn't even get to finish our county championship. We ended up in the first round having our game. We had to award it to Kildare because of COVID outbreak. That everything possible made it a really tall order for Offaly this year. Or do you say, we need more from Michael Fenley in his first year, considering the ticket he has around him and Michael Dignan as chairman. You know, everything that you think is in place for a progressive season is there. So do you, do you kind of, are, is there room for excuses here? You're playing devil's advocate, and I appreciate that, but I just don't think there's any room for excuses, to be honest with you. This is the third tier championship. We played Leinster Championship two years ago, you know? Um, I just don't think there's any room. There's no. I just don't think there's any room for excuses at that level, none whatsoever. Um, I, I probably agree with you in the sense that we have gone through, you know, backroom teams and management and different things over the last couple of years. We probably need to, uh, we probably need to place trust in management but now Michael Fenley's second year, if they do win Chris Ring, then his third year is in the Joe McDonough. Do you know, we're already a year behind. 
you, do you know what? Do you understand what I mean? We're oh, already a year behind yeah. where we, where where everybody thought we would be, and perhaps we lost the run of ourselves after the Derry game, a Derry game where we beat a team. We only pulled away from Derry when they had fourteen men. So I don't know, but Jesus, there's there's just no way, not in the month of Sundays, that we should be, you know, not winning the Christie Ring. So uh, you can kind of make it out what you make it out what you will, but it's it's a disastrous result. There's no point in saying any different. And is it a good thing that the new season will start pretty quickly, or do you? think players will walk away from it do you, do you think you know is the future still obviously it's not bright because you're missing out on a year of jumping up to the next grade but um, what what is your mood like in general like in terms of the prospects of, of Offaly well I tell you what the mood was very high after the minors gave Leash a good a good trimming and the under 20s gave Westmead a good trimming and it's been total the bubble has burst since giving well, Kildare a walk over and then losing this I think most people will be calling for, I know it's going to take a couple of years, but most people will be talking for, calling for a lot of those 20s to be thrown in now and for us to play, play some fate with, with new players because what's, what's, you know, maybe what took to the field, a lot of what took to the field uh, last weekend has been tried and tested at that level and uh, tried and maybe untested, I should say, because we, they haven't delivered. And when you don't deliver at, at ring level, you really probably need to look at where you're going. So I'd expect even more young players on board next year. And there could be that issue of, you know, lads pulling away from it now because, oh, we're looking at, we're staring at another year in Christy Ring. We're staring at another year in 2A. Like next year, realistically, 2A qualification to a 2A final and promotion and a Christy Ring Cup, nothing else, nothing else will be accepted realistically. Yeah, and obviously huge credit to Down for, for this shock win and Stephen. Savage, King. yeah, Ron, Ron and she in there, he would have I would have known him when I was invo- when I was working with the, the GPA there, a big down hurling man and in fairness to two Sands brothers on and die, like they're they're maxing out, they're maxing out what they have. And like that's a huge result for them. As I said in the preview show, like often he played down in an all Ireland semi final. 25 years ago neither probably want or expect to be down here but a huge result for Down and Down are playing Chris, Down are playing John McDonough Hurling next year which is massive for them yeah absolutely as will Kildare after beating Ross 